So here we have the Audi A3 Cabriolet on a 69 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a two-door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors. Uh, given that it's convertible and that the roof is down, plenty of boot space as well. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's what we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the ref counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. We also have the fuel gauge over on that right-hand side as well. In the middle, you can see the total miles of this car, which are 9,892. Uh, above that, we can change the information that's displayed there using buttons on the steering wheel for various bits of trip computer information, the car information, your audio, phone, and sat nav, and then back around to the beginning again. The buttons I was using to do that are just here. Beneath that, we have cruise control. Over on the right-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. And just behind the steering wheel, a minus and plus paddle. That is so that you can change gear manually on this automatic gearbox. Over in the center, we have the main screen for the car. So you can see that we've got satellite navigation, a really nice, clear color display, uh, which is accessed either via navigation or map just here. We can also pair our phone from on here and access our music. All the movement that I'm making on the screen it's all being done using this dial, and you can use the collection of buttons that surround it as well, but the dial will do virtually everything. So for example, once we're on that radio menu, we can access the different ways in which we can listen to radio. So we've got FM, DAB, and AM radio, as you can see. Similarly, uh, you can go all the way back to the beginning, uh, to the main menu, and listen to your own music under the media heading. And there are, again, plenty of ways you can listen to your own music, and they include Bluetooth audio, so you can uh, stream your music wirelessly, uh, once you've connected your phone of course you can turn this screen off should you wish to so for nighttime driving if that gets uh gives you too much glare um, for example you can switch that off and that is done with this button just here we can turn off the traction control for the car as well and the stop and start this button over on the right hand side will change the driving style of the car so you can put it on auto dynamic individual so you can kind of customize it yourself efficiency comfort and back to auto. On auto, the car will decide how it drives for you uh, based on the road conditions. We then have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed once it enters the car. When you're happy with those settings, that button turns your air conditioning off in this case. Back on again. All hit auto. The car will now take control of the fan speed and the direction of the air to maintain the temperatures you've asked for. Any manual adjustment will override auto straight away again. You'll see we've also got a heated driver's seat, with three heat settings, and the same on the passenger side, which is particularly handy in a convertible. We have a 12 volt charging socket underneath that, two cup holders, and then the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox, as well as the volume for the stereo just there. Now the last thing I wanted to talk about is the roof. You have a button down in the central console, uh, just behind the gear lever. Lift that button up, and what will happen is all four windows will lower ever so slightly, just so that the roof can start uh, its operation. You'll see it will now fold down into a uh, top section of the tailgate. Once the roof is down, if you keep your finger on the button, all four windows will go up. There is one button you can use to simultaneously lower the windows should you wish to. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.